Welcome back. Now, active military members can volunteer as mentors to Keiki. It's all a part of the Big Brothers Big Sisters Hawaii program, and today we're learning all of the details. May is Military Appreciation Month, and today we are joined with Philip Cole, who is an active duty member of the military. But we want to know a little bit more about his involvement with Big Brothers Big Sisters Hawaii. Philip, how's it going, man? It's going great. Thank you so much for having me on today. Thank you for coming on, and thank you for everything that you do as far as being a military member and your involvement with Big Brothers Big Sisters Hawaii. It must be exciting that you're a volunteer there. Yes, I love it. So I'm an active duty Marine here on the island uh, on Oahu. I've been here for a couple of years. And it wasn't until last year that I actually started volunteering with Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's something I wanted to do for a long time, uh, but my schedule just didn't really facilitate it with deployments and everything. Uh, but things kind of slowed down, and so I just jumped to the opportunity. My dad had volunteered when he was a young Air Force officer. So I just really believe in the importance of providing kids with mentors and companions as they grow up. So I, I love being a part of it. Let's talk about the viewpoints when it becomes um, overlapping with Big Brothers Big Sisters of IE and military, being a military member. So the military, obviously our main purpose, our main mission is defense. We fight our nation's battles, but there's this implied purpose to make our people, our soldiers, our sailors, airmen, and Marines, the best versions of themselves possible. The goal is to help kids become the best versions of themselves they can be, who they would be if they had at least one positive role model, positive and persistent role model in their life. Do you think that volunteering at Big Brothers Big Sisters of IE um, has affected you as far as like um, your viewpoints and everything as a member of the military? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, so first and foremost, it is about uh, you know having an impact in a child's life and having a positive impact in the community. But beyond that, I think volunteering as a mentor just has so many personal and professional rewards that will carry you through uh, to a greater success in your life. Uh, it's just an incredible opportunity to learn so much about yourself, about how other people view the world. Uh, when you fill in this role as a mentor, you just really learn the importance of listening, of communicating, of communicating with people. Uh, volunteering as a mentor just round you out to um, a better person and a, and a better better leader. Philip, what would you have to say to um, some of our active duty members that are currently watching Living 808s that are thinking about volunteering at Brig Brothers Big Sisters of IE? So there is a huge need for mentors right now. There are so many children who are waiting to be matched with a mentor, uh, particularly the last few years, just the isolation from the, you know, the lockdown associated with the pandemic. It's been very hard on kids. Uh, both locally in the islands and then nationwide. But when you join, you're not just paired randomly with a kid. We do an in-depth interview with you to figure out what your strengths are, uh, you know, your specific personality and experiences. So we can match you with a child and you just have a great fit. And then we give you some training, of course. You're not just going into a blind. I mean, after that, particularly to the military members, uh, for those of us who didn't grow up on the island, it's just, it's a wonderful way to experience the island and just to go do so many fun things that you might not see otherwise. You know, you're having this great impact and really helping these kids out, but uh, you know, you're gonna go on some hikes you didn't know about, you're gonna go to some museums you didn't know about. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, so we talked about how um, you are, you know, supporting Keiki, but I want to know, as far as a volunteer, as far as a, as far as a volunteer standpoint, how does Big Brothers Big Sisters of you support you? There are uh, an incredible amount of resources that the organization provides. Like, it definitely takes a village, and we bring the village to help you. Uh, we organize events, so it's not just you figuring something out uh, on your own with your mentee. Uh, we hosted a, a picnic uh, recently on Magic Island. We host holiday parties. We have bowling nights, we do all kinds of events. And then we also have a specific case manager assigned to every mentor, mentee, uh, match, just to provide individualized support to make sure that relationship is just, you know, growing as fruitful as it can and stay on the right track. So we're not gonna let you fail. We're gonna definitely take care of you. Philip, thank you so much for talking with myself and all of our Living 8 Away viewers out there. Everyone, you guys can visit bbbshawaii.org or online at khwen2.com if you guys want to learn more information about being a volunteer. Philip, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for having me. Oh, so wonderful. Yes. So if that inspires you, if you'd like to make a difference and be an integral part of someone's childhood, 
make sure you reach out. That's right. And as Philip was saying, yes, they're in need of so many mentors and not just for kids that are missing a parent, even kids that just have uh, both their parents, but they're working a lot. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the, um, a lot of time to help nurture these kind of relationships and big brothers and big sisters. So much fun with all the activities mm -hmm. they do and uh, such great, even for the mentors that are going into the program, as Philip was saying. Yeah, so important. Okay.